Hello everyone, I'm the Critical Bastard, and today we are going to be watching a video of a man who is obsessed with E.T., which is very strange because E.T. looks like a ball sack mixed with the hairless cat. I mean, just look at him. Tell me I'm wrong, because it looks so similar. Anyway, with that being said, let's begin. So this is it. This is my E.T. room. Nick has been obsessed with E.T. since his first encounter with the movie 22 years ago at the age of three. <laughs> wait, wait. At the age of three? That's freaking crazy. That would give any normal kid nightmares. Boo! <laughs> I told you it was scary. Anyway, why would a parent let their three-year-old watch E.T.? I mean, a three-year-old should be watching, I don't know, Sesame Street or something. Not an alien movie. <laughs> This is um, E.T. talking doll that my grandfather gave me that one, one of the ones that I plan on being buried with. And Did he just say he's planning on being buried with an E.T. doll? That is disturbing. Imagine you got into like a coma or something and everyone thought you died so they buried you and then you woke up and see this face right beside you. At that point you would most likely have a heart attack and then die. Nick decided to remodel his apartment after the E.T. Universal Studios tour and to give tours of his own. Well, usually a line to get in. I have a sign outside. He gives tours? That's crazy. Okay, I'll give him this. Although he might be slightly mentally disturbed, he has the ability to turn this into a business because people are willing to take a tour through his apartment. Which, now that I say that, sounds very strange. Well, as you can see, here is my golden idol of E.T., which I pray to every night before I go to sleep. And this is my lifelike sex doll of E.T., and this is the bed where I fuck him. Welcome to my E.T. room. Although he works an entry-level job, Nick spends a third of his yearly income to rent an apartment for his E.T. shrine. He spends a third of his yearly income renting a place for all that E.T. stuff? He better be charging people to take those tours, otherwise he's batshit crazy. I mean, a third of his yearly income goes towards rent for this place. That means he has to take another third of his yearly income for rent for where he actually lives. So that right there is two-thirds of his yearly income. And then he has food, as well as, like, car insurance and gas for his car. He also has a girlfriend, which, I mean, you gotta spend some money there. How the hell can he afford that? Dude, where were you? Sorry. Come on, we gotta get going here. Kill me! Kill me now! But Nick's obsession doesn't stay behind closed doors. Every year he takes it outside and recreates the movie's iconic Halloween rescue scene for New York's Halloween Parade. Everyone put their hoods up. If you want to do the E.T. parade with me, you have to have a BMX, of course. No way fans or butts about that. Red sweatshirt, same thing. It's a uniform, you have to have that on. Can you pull your hood up anymore? If we're gonna represent, you gotta, you gotta look good, you know? If you're gonna represent, you gotta look good. Can someone please tell the living testicle E.T. that? Because he obviously didn't get the memo. I need cosmetic surgery. Every moment of the ride must be perfect, down to the last detail, so Nick makes his riders practice until they get it exactly right. You're riding around with the, the E.T. soundtrack and just with the red hood up and with the E.T. in the front and just gave, gave me chills. It'd be awesome if we actually picked up and flew away. Okay, he's delusional, but if he's not hurting anyone and he's happy doing it, then I don't see what the issue is. Kill me! Kill me now! But with that being said, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you found it funny and entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. If we can hit 200 likes, that'll be awesome. If you're new, make sure you subscribe for more of these crazy videos. If you have Twitter, make sure you follow me there at Papa Memes. There is a link in the description for that. But with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.